All right, we'll get started. Um, there's going to be some background noise today because the dryer is running and it is too hot uh, to shut the window. So um, that's that is what it is. Uh, this, this is not the end of the world, but uh, yeah. Um, so what I wanted to do was use this cool ass weapon called the Crucifix of the Mad King, which is a holy weapon that uses dark damage. Now, to get this, uh, there's a little cool offshoot of Slave Nightgale's uh, arena that you can go to. Um, and somebody will invade you, and you kill them and get the weapon. Cool, right? Well, turns out, uh, because I went to where Gale spawns and activated his boss fight, um, I can't do it until after I kill Gale. This sucks. <laughs> this is not good. I wanted to kill Gale with this weapon, and I cannot get it now until after I've killed Gale. So I fucked up the ordering of stuff pretty hard. Um, that's it's not the end of the world, but I would have liked to use it for both Gale and Midir. We'll, we'll only get to use it for Midir. Um, I'm still gonna do the same thing. Please, We're gonna collect some uh, some materials that will make this work, though. Uh, one of which is Dark Blade, because Please. the weapon includes dark damage, but it you can imbue it or not not imbue it, but you can um. What's the word? You can buff it. So we're gonna get Dark Blade here, so that we can buff our weapon with uh, Dark Blade. I think this one might give us 10k. Uh, and we're just gonna have that on deck uh, for when we get the weapon a little later on. Um, is there anything else that I want? Um, yeah, we. I also want to run around the swamp area a little bit here first collect some stuff. There, there was some stuff I, I realized uh, what to do. Oh, I meant to look up where the show your humanity puzzle is, because I wanted to do that as well. But, um, I figured out who the NPC was who, um, was talking to me last stream in the Ring City area. Um, there's a little ladder that we can go to, which allows us to, um, talk to this guy. And then uh, there's like an invasion and a couple other things to do, and we can fight another Dragon Slayer armor. Uh, you know, I might have changed my mind. Maybe we'll just face tank Gale here, and then um, we can kind of um, do this other stuff a little later. Um, at least we'll, we'll wait to do the invasion, and, um... I, I couldn't find the Show Your Humanity puzzle, which is a little sad. But I'll, I'll pick up some items. We'll wait to do the second Dragon Slayer armor fight. Oh, hello, guys. <laughs> oh, god. I've got a lot of dudes following me now. Less than ideal. I think I can make it up here before I get hit. Very lucky. I'm glad those like Ninja Turtle guys can't climb up ladder. Might still be able to like target me while I'm up here though, which would be somewhat unfortunate if so. Oh shit. Well. Oh, I guess we're going after this Titanite lizard. It's probably just Twinkling Titanite again. That's fine. Let's get back over to that ladder. Oh, that guy's just. Dug himself into a corner. Oh, that was weird. That, like, spawned on a little uh, ledge off to the side there. That guy's spell. Can you target me while I'm up here? No. Good. So this gentleman was who was um, talking to us. I did hi accidentally hit him <laughs> off stream, thinking it was an enemy. One. But he doesn't seem to matter. Or care, really. Her own kin. But even so... Was embraced, enveloped by the abyss. The fuck are you talking about, dude? That neither moon nor sunless sky afforded her before. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the fear. One met the dark with learning. Uh. In the end, learned his knowledge was wanting. The world began without knowledge, and without knowledge will it does not this ring clear. And fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast. He's like One, talking poems at us. Okay, well, nice poems, guy. 
I guess. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't remember where the, um, show your humanity, uh, prompt shows up. Uh, the key is to use one of those, like, white branch items, or the chameleon spell, um, in, uh, the swamp area, which allows us to turn into a humanity ghost. Can I backstab you? It'd be cool if so. Okay, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> Fucking ring knights are basically bosses. The poking attack seems to be really good against enemies that have shields, because they just like to take their shield down right before I hit them with it every time. Oh, good. I think he gets, like, a poise buff every time. Well, I don't think I really care about going back and getting those 2,500 souls. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna poke around the bonfire room a little bit, see if I can find the show your humanity room. Um, is it, is it, like, I feel like it was, like, right by a bonfire. There was, like, a message or something. Maybe not, though? I know it's near the swamp area. I, I guess I could look it up later on in the stream. Um, if I'm so inclined, let's just go fight Gale. Um, this might take me a while. Um, but I guess I kind of want to get it over with so that I can get the, the cool dark weapon and we can finish out the stream using a different build, because I like the uh, Nameless King's sword spear item. But, um, I am getting a little tired of it, and it's, the damage is a little wanting, I'm not gonna lie. It's okay, but it's, it's not incredible. Um, I, I could have simply, like, triggered the invasion and got the weapon. But right when you enter the boss room, he just, like, comes for you. So, it's a little sad. I guess I could, um, I could try Wolnir's sword as well. Oh, that's a grab. I don't think there's any mashing out of that. I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> I love that hit sound. It's probably like one of my favorites in the whole series. Oh, come on. I do not do very good damage to him, unfortunately. So this is going to be a little tough. Yeah, I don't even... It's not even yellow when I hit him. So even with the... um. Oh, no, I, I guess I do have yellow, but... Even with the buff on the weapon, we're not doing so much. He has so many, like, weird little animations that look like he's tr starting a move, but he's just not. Oh... I actually strafed the start of the combo. Okay. Not the best start. Maybe I'll, uh... Maybe I'll just try Wolnir's sword here and see if we, we do a little bit better damage. Because it could just be that he's, um... Like... Um... Like, he, he's got very high lightning resistance. Um... So may maybe this will simply be better. Um, I kind of doubt it, though. We'll see. I have still got the Leo ring on. Maybe I change that out for something else quick. Uh, steel protection plus three. Sure, that'll make me take less damage. I think this is going to be better for this fight. I know I'm, I'm betraying the build that I had, but... It uses less stamina, it's quicker, and it does about the same damage, if not a little more. So I think this is going to be the way. Last time I fought this guy, I was using, um... What was I using? Like the uh, Great Hammer, Vort's Great Hammer. That thing is awesome. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, bad time to heal. I feel like this fight is quite fair. He just has a lot of health. You can roll really early on that one. Yeah, this sword is so much better than the lightning spear. I was probably nerfing myself a little bit using that, to be honest. Now, I can try to use embers here, but I do have to save at least one for um, triggering the invasion. Or I guess <laughs> that would be funny if I only saved one ember and then died to the invader. I don't know why, like, every other invasion in um, the DLC, you can get invaded without being embered, but this one... Hmm. So there are certainly some attacks you can strafe to the right, but um, not all of them. Okay, phase two. We'll watch the cutscene once. The trouble with this phase is that his, like, cloak starts to do damage as well, and you can kind of dodge the sword swing, but fuck up the... Like, the dodges are just tighter, essentially. Yeah, he realizes halfway through the fight that... The blood of the Dark Soul. Shit, he's got the Dark Soul. <laughs> the real Dark Soul was the friends he made... Was the madness he collected along the way? I know Gale is is really like a very good like final final boss, but I I just fucked it up and I triggered the fight before getting the weapon I want to use. So that's on me. I I could have tried to pl plan stuff out a little better before the stream. Definitely want a safety sip here. Using spells, bud. Nice stagger. Yeah, see that cloak swings around and it does a lot. What? You have a gun? I think that was a crossbow, but still. At least the cloak doesn't do too much damage to us. Oh, terrible time to try to heal. That's okay. Oh, luck. Are you doing a, a burst? Okay. Nice. Okay. Sure. Oh. Okay, I probably should have tried to roll there, but that's fine. The skulls are scary. Being a little over-aggressive here, but it's kind of paying off. That looks like a burst. The skulls have, like, very light tracking on them. Oh, I was way too far away for that. Oh, classic. Okay, so I am out of heals here. I will try the ember. Maybe foolish. Nice. This is a cool ass fight. I've got a divine blessing too. Oh, did that just kill me? It did. Okay, I I I was being a coward and I didn't use the divine blessing. That was loud. <laughs> 
I, this is very doable with this sword. Why was I using that shit sword spear, dude? Just for the cool guy um, buff, I guess. Um, I feel like this fight is just... It, it feels very hard because of how little damage you do at the start. It's very fair. His moves are not that hard to dodge. There's not three fucking phases like Freed. Nice. Yeah, and his moves are like delayed enough that you, um,. He doesn't have as many moves that are just super fucking fast, like Freed. Problem with Freed is that sometimes um, the moves just come out so fast that you don't have a chance to dodge after doing whatever it was you were doing. Could also just be that the spear I was using sucks. Oh, that didn't look like it was going to hit me, but that's okay. I honestly kind of feel like this is in the bag. Okay. Let's not kill me after I get overconfident. Is it just me or does he do more damage in the first phase than in phase two? Okay. Phase 2 moment. It teleports us over to, like, the throne room area. Alright. Those are gonna come back, so I wanna kind of get over here. Yeah, they clip through the ground. That's weird. Okay, luck. I still have seven heals. I feel pretty good about that. Oh, I don't know how the cloak didn't hit me, but I'll take it. Nice stagger. Back up here. Oh my god. That one move is really loud every time. I'm gonna get hit by that lightning. This was very fair. Okay. I died. This is very doable. Um, it picked up background noise a lot less. It, it took me a, quite a while to get it set up properly, though, I will say. I don't think that move is worth doing. Gotta just try not to be too greedy here. The urge to just keep hitting the boss, though. Like, the Clorinthy Ring plus three is really just so good here. I can kind of be very aggressive with my stamina use. Oh, this fucking combo might get me. 
nice amount of damage for that being my first um, Estus use. Phase 2. Probably the next hit. There we go. Nice. Why was it seriously why was I using the sword spear like at all? <laughs> that shit sucked. I'm gonna let him come to me. Oh, I don't wanna be near these thrones though, they're gonna fuck me up. Yeah. Oh, okay. That pulling the sword out move is kind of challenging to dodge. Alright. Shit. Oh, man. I do not like those, um... Arrows. Oh, I don't know why I healed there. It's kind of panicking. Glad I didn't get hit by that AoE. Honestly, I feel like this is a little easier than the fucking Demon Princes. Like, that fight just felt... ...so shit, by comparison. Back up. That is a small AoE. Oh, is that a grab? Opening. Back up from the lightning. That's okay. Oh, holy shit, nice stagger. Oh, I'm panic rolling. Still got four more heals here. Dagger him. Nice. Back up heal. Okay, so it seems like these skulls are what trigger the lightning. So if I just back up, he'll come to me. Heal one more time. I've got two more. I feel like I'm very close here. Terrain is a little strange here. Stagger, one more. There we go. Slave Knight Gale. Such a fair fight. Just feels good, too. Fucking awesome. Okay, we'll just rest up here. And then, um... Ah, you know what? I guess I will go back to Firelink first. Uh, level up a few times... And then we'll come back and we'll get the crucifix of the Mad King. That only... See, I, yeah, that was way easier than the Demon Princess. Maybe I should have just been using Wolnir's sword the whole time. She's just going to keep telling me to link. No, I will not. I think I want to put a few into strength, if I can. Uh, you know, maybe I'll, I'll keep those 55k for now. Um, to try to upgrade the crucifix. Um, I'm just going to put on that uh, dark blade, and we will go to Filionor's Rest. I think this is a little closer than the Slave Knight Gale Bonfire. I really would have liked to use this uh, weapon for, for this fight, but that's okay. Um, yeah, that was so much fun. Nothing like a greatsword in these games, I swear. Is that even the right weapon class? Yeah, greatswords. They're just goaded, I swear. Um, 
I'm, I'm trying to, like, theorycraft the build I want to do for, um, Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. I think I might go with, like, the Dragon Halberd and, um, some Dragon Spells. Uh, I, th I think that'll just be good. Um... God, I'm still just riding the high of that fun fucking fight with Gale. Maybe we'll, we'll try to Sunlight Spear a little bit here. So I think if I stand here... Yeah, there she is. Uh, I'm not supposed to dodge that. She's got like... And my shameless yearning. You're monologuing. Shut up. Oh, okay. That fucking bow move is annoying. I wonder how you get that. <laughs> you can just cancel it? It's kind of funny. Sure, use your Estus. I don't care. Ah! Oh. You can just hold that shit for as long as you want. This is kind of an annoying fight. I'm missing my... Uh, running poke that I had with um, the lightning spear. Oh, and the range, too. If we get her up against a wall... Oh, God. Oh, don't kill me. That is an annoying-ass move. Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. I knew it. Okay, well... <laughs> I will see if I have to be embered for this. I, I might not. Watch this fight be like... You know, I, I might pull out the lightning spear again, just for the running poke. It, I feel like it just it cheeses NPCs. Where was it? Here. Oh, I was also wondering why my stamina wasn't regening as fast. I, I had put the Grass Crest Shield away. <laughs> that running animation when you're on a slope is real weird. I don't think I was ever even aware of this fight at all. Um, so do I need to be embered? I've searched no. Nice. Stricken creature, I am she. Daughter of the king, descendant of God. Yeah, that poking attack is going to be very nice. At once, I am the honor. I can just punish her stupid arrow move. Thou shalt not go unpunished. For thy treachery, thy profanity, and thy shameless yearning. What are you doing going out there? Come on, come back in here. Oh, I lost lock on. That was weird. I should up my, um, my, like, camera speed. No drinky for you. Come on. Yeah, this weapon is just really fucking good against NPCs, huh? <laughs> hey! Don't just punish my drinking. I'm the one sp supposed to punish drinking. Oh, I clanked. Oh god, the poise. Oh, you're out of drinks, huh? That arrow move is really like 100% of the difficulty here.
One more. There we go. Give me your goofy weapon. Yeah, 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 I get it. You're better than me. A slab? Sacred Chime of Filionor. How's that Sacred Chime? Seems like it has really good spell buff. I, I could try to upgrade that too, I guess. Yeah. Let's, um... Where's the crucifix? Oh, I need ten... Int for this, huh? You know, we might just uh, go respec our character um, to use this weapon. Um, yeah, this is cool as hell. And then I think I can also buff it with Dark Blade. Yeah, there we go. The cool purple weapon. So there we go. We, we've embraced the dark side. Let's um head back to Firelink. And I want to say we can go to Cathedral of the Deep. Um, and give a pale tongue to someone to respec once we've got all this stuff upgraded. Um, yeah, we just, we're gonna need ten faith. Um, fix the bad thing. What do I need for this? Twinkling. I've got 60 twinkling. Nice. Oh, that, uh, just plus five, huh? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. That's the twinkling uh, items. And then this is also twinkling. Sure. I've got six slabs. Let's just do it. Okay. 159. Is that better than the one I was using before? No. No, it isn't. Uh, does it have some... some bonus for it. Maybe I'll just upgrade this one as well. The Canvas Talisman. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I thought that would be better. It looks cool. I mean, all we're going to use it for is casting Dark Weapons, so it's not like it really fully matters. Um, I guess I could upgrade the Grass Christ Shield while we're at it. Um... Uh, just to have something worth doing. More twinkling. Let's just use up all the twinkling. And we'll put a slab on that bad boy, too. The Grass Crush Shield is truly the best. Um, let's see, I still have 51k souls, huh? Um, I guess we'll... Uh, let's see. How much do I need to level up? 65. Uh, this should give me either 15 or 20. 20. Nice. So we'll, we'll level up one more time. And then we'll head off to respec. Let me just check what the... Um, the scaling is on this. C in strength. Uh, none in dex. So I'm not going to fucking bother with dex at all. I'm kind of surprised. It's like a polearm halberd kind of thing. Um, so yeah, we, we want to do kind of like mostly strength and faith. Sure. Uh, yeah, let's go to Rosaria, I think is the name. Cathedral of the Deep, Rosaria's Bedchamber. Now, <laughs> hopefully I didn't do some dumb shit that would cause her to, um... To, like, die or something, and I, I'm not able to respec anymore. Uh, I don't, I don't think that's the case. Are you an NPC, or are you just there? Oh, you're an enemy. Sure. Sure. I've obtained proof of the covenant. Reallocate. Um, yes, please. So, I had 40... Vigor, so I kind of want to keep 40 Vigor. Uh, so I, I know I need 10 Int. I like the idea of having 40 Faith. I don't have to worry about Dex at all. Let's see, how many levels have I got? And then I guess I just want to put the rest in Endurance. Um...
Honestly, that looks good. 40, 20, 40, 10, 40. Uh, nice. Okay, so we're gonna respec. Um, and this, this should be our just final build here. We've got our dark blade going on. And then we can, um, put the grass crest shield back. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, so I guess let's, um, let's head back to the swamp. Why can't I rest? Is it you? That's not allowing me to rest? Okay. I hope that wasn't like a named guy that I killed, but it showed up as an enemy. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to Ring City Streets. You know, while I'm here, I think I'm gonna, I wanna look up, um, the Show Your Humanity. Okay, so it says the room that right after the shortcut has been opened. That's where we get that from. Very nice. Um, yeah, so I might just do the goofy little Show Your Humanity puzzle as well. So room right after the shortcut has been opened. Where? Um... I thought there was like a little message or something. Oh, it's the, this engraving. Show your humanity. Okay, so I think the thing to do here is we want to kill this bug. Let's do the dark blade. Let's see how our damage is on this buggo. Definitely seems better. How much do I do? Yeah, that seems good. And then if I kind of walk over here, and I don't think any of those bugs are going to aggro on me. Let's see, the white branch. I am now a ghost. I like the little wiggle that you get <laughs> when you move around with this thing, but if I roll, I think it, it, um, on, uh, what do you call it? I lose the... I think I lose the chameleon effect. Um, yeah, I guess it took the community a little bit to figure this out. It, it's honestly not that challenging of a puzzle, but I don't know, I like it. I think it's kind of cool. I'm pretty sure we should just see the ladder slam down. Very nice. And up we go. I obviously didn't come up with the solution by myself. I gotta quantify that, or clarify, I don't think quantify is right, quantify, quantify, quantity, yeah, wrong word, that's fine, clarify was the word I was looking for, um, yeah, I don't remember what this gives us access to at all, is it just like an item? this at all. Hello, ranked knight. Please don't notice me. Oh, he's noticing me. Okay, it's fine. Quickly heal. Oh, that's two ring knights. I'm fucked. Generally not what you want to see. Where am I? Oh, come on, lock on. Don't do me like this. Oh, I lose the good dash attack that I had on the... Um... 
spear that I was using before. This is a halberd, so I guess it's different. I cannot love fighting two ring knights at once, let me tell you. Oh, I should have gone in for the repost. I'm glad you missed, bud. Okay, one of them down. That's the lion's share of the difficulty, was just kiting the two of them around. Can I sneak up on the other guy, though? I think that's the last buff we're going to get access to here. Get like infinite poise during that. Okay. Alright. Ranked Knight's done. Um. Is that really like all there is to this little zone? No, there's more. What is even the point of this? Huh. I've been here before. I think. Maybe not. What is the Oh, this is the purging monument. Ah, oh, I see. What is absolution? Whoa. What 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 sins have I committed? I don't know. Um I don't want to reverse my hollowing. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is how you um, reinstate the king's decree, is I think how you um, get summoned as um, part of the that annoying fucking boss fight that I hate. Well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to curse other people's game. Uh, <laughs> at least not like that. Um, can I make this jump? be a bit sad if I couldn't. There's an item down here. Moss fruit. Sure. I'm liking this weapon so far. I do miss the goofy um, running attack uh, from the previous weapon. Oh, those enemies are fucking intimidating. They might not actually be that scary, but they are very intimidating, I will say. I'm running a bit low on Estus, so I'm not sure that I want to just go and fight the um, Dragon Slayer armor here. I might rest before I go and do that. Yeah, so I wonder if now that I've found the Purging Monument, um, Patches will have something new to say. Is he... He sure was quite keen on that. Um, I like this damage that I do here. Oh, nice miss. Oh, the little bug knocked me out of my attack. I'm getting attacked by one of those Ninja Turtle guys. Where is he? Up this hill? Yeah. Oh, there's a few of them. One more. Nice. You have got to die. Yeah, I, I knew there was significantly more in this little zone. Where did you even come from? Yeah, I'm gonna be full out of esti- How many of these guys are there? Oh, it's just you. <laughs> nice miss. Sure. Just 
One bonk. Nice. Um. Oh, they give you the the branches uh, for the humanity puzzle if you don't have any. That's probably a good idea. Do I want to try the Dragon Slayer armor with such little um healing? I feel like it's a bad plan. Yeah, and I'm not going to have any buffs for my weapon either. One charged heavy and an L1. We'll send these guys on their way. <laughs> it's a goofy animation. Um, let's try not to wake that guy up. I'll just try to grab as many items as I can, and then I can bone out. There's another one over here. I'm kind of sad that I got this uh, cool ass item like right at the end of the game. I have one boss left to do. Um, and this will be the last stream. Um, oh, this fucking adjudicator. You know what? I don't, I don't even want to deal with this. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> um... I can try to grab that item and run past the Adjudicator, but it's probably just rubbish, because, you know, of course, uh, the Adjudicators are, are just designed to kind of be annoying. <laughs> uh, what with those archers they summon? I'm just glad the one in the Spear of the Church uh, boss fight doesn't um, summon the archers. I think I got just about all the items. Oh, you know, there was one other thing I was going to do. Hang on, it's over here. Um, there's an invasion I didn't trigger. Ah, oh, because I think I died over here, to be honest. Oh, right, it's the Beyblade guy. One bonk. I said one bonk. There we go. <laughs> I'll tank it, I don't care. This weapon just feels good. I'm just gonna... That's all I'm gonna just keep saying for the rest of the stream. Um, I feel like this is the... Um, like a, a fitting end for the, the holy build. Where we just become evil. And embrace the darkness. I gotta say the lightning stuff is cool. Even if it's not super good. It is cool. And it was fun to use. Um, I think that you get a pretty popular like PvP weapon um, from over here. Uh, from from this little invasion. I will uh, buff up for this. It is a silver knight. Oh, that did the weird like knockback, but no damage thing that always seems to happen to me. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. Oh, I got stuck on a box! Did I stagger him with my roll? You got poised for days? Okay. <laughs> He's moonwalking on me! That, that was weird. Weird little animation. Uh, I don't think I have to kill all those Ninja Turtle guys to get back over there, so I'm not going to. Um, just fuck that in general. Oh, an item. What? Was that a head? Hang on. Oh. Oh, that is creepy. <laughs> I don't think I like that at all. What's the description on that? An empty head of a white-faced locust that rose from the abyssal swamp. <laughs> Sorry, I looked up at the face. Jesus Christ. Uh, the white-faced locusts were meant to beckon men to the dark with sermons, but most of them are unable to think past their own stomachs. They're just hungry. 
I, I feel that. You ever, you ever just get hangry? <laughs> someone must rise to the occasion and restore the path of righteousness. Perhaps that someone is you. Did you not arise from the abyss, and did you not resist drowning in the age of fire? Locusts and men are kindred spirits. Sure. Fucking sure. I did also get this blindfold mask from... So, oh, that looks kind of really funny with my doofy-ass face and my little teeth. I've got, like, dentures sticking out from the teeth there. I kind of like that, actually. Uh, let's see if it has any, like, weird effects, but... Strengthens dark attacks, but also greatly increases damage sustained from dark. Okay, well, considering Medir is who I'm going to be fighting, maybe I don't want to do that, but I, I could wear this hat as well. That is also a good-ass hat. Um, but, I mean, honestly, just, is there anything more fitting than the sage's big hat? It's just kind of perfect. Um, it's really the only hat you ever need. Oh, shit, I forgot that guy spawned right there. Luckily, I don't need to be embered to, um, activate this invasion. Um... But yeah, after this invasion, I guess we just got the the Dragon Slayer armor at the far end of the swamp. And then... Fucking Midir. Um, I guess it, it would be big ball. <laughs> you, you have to have pretty big balls to use that. Um, uh, what am I saying? The blindfold against Midir. Oh my god, the poise. Oh, I want my 55k souls. Give me that. Backstab? No. Oh, he just poises through, and I was mashing roll there, too. Well... <laughs> Let's get that one more try, shall we? I feel like it's not that hard. He's just he's just a poiseful man. I, I guess that's to be expected from um, a black knight. So Oh, weird little Dark Souls slide. It's the classic. Oh, that hit me. It didn't hit me the last time, but it did this time. These dumb little turtle enemies are pretty funny. Um, I kind of appreciate it. We, we were wearing the dumb, like, turtle outfit for a while, but it clipped through the shield and looked dumb. I do like the Abyss Watcher cloak. It just, it just looks cool. All right, Lido. Let's see what you got. I mean, I know what you got. It's poise. Hey, would come out here. Nice. Okay. What I How does that end up being faster? Oh, the rocks. Okay. Well, we we're learning. I like the little effect that the... Oh! The dark damage does! Okay, I may regret coming out here. Bonk him! Bonk him again! Alright, Leto down. So yeah, we got his hammer. It's a cool-ass weapon. Um, I've got just enough to level up again, huh? That's pretty nice. Is there anywhere I can go from here? I think once you're here, it's just like, homeward bone out, because the only other alternative is dying. Oh, and I'm stuck, too. Okay, I guess I wasn't really stuck. Sure, we'll do one more level. Uh, and we got the Dragon Slayer armor, and, um... Midir. I just... Now that I got here to the end of the game, I kind of don't want to stop playing Dark Souls 3. It's like, it's finally... 
Then touch the oh! <laughs> I love that little stutter that she does. Um, it's finally, like, real fun. Uh, here at the end of the game. I don't know, what, what do I put the level in? I guess the faith will give me more damage, so I'll take it. Um, back to the same bonfire we were at. Um, I want to kind of avoid the adjudicator here. Yeah, one downside of using this uh, headset mic is anytime I n touch the headset at all or scratch my head in any way, it's like super loud on the microphone, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but, um, you know, it, it'll do for now. I'm, I'm enjoying streaming, even if it's kind of super scuffed. I'm surprised that it even works at all from the PS5, so I'm, I'm glad to be doing it. Uh, I kind of didn't acknowledge it at the time, but there was definitely, like, a bot or somebody selling nonsense in here earlier. I'll, I'll go back and ban them after the stream. But, yeah, they, they always, like, follow and then unfollow right away. And ask, like, hey, how's it going? Or how's the stream going? It's always kind of the same rote message. Is the adjudicator seeing me? Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. I think that's just death. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to give him a bit of a wider berth. <laughs> that is not the way to do that. Um, I could just try to kill him. But what with those archers? I, I really just don't want to. I think if you get close enough, he'll stop summoning the archers. I, I think he respawns, too. So it's like it's not even kind of worth it. I'm just going to run across to the other side of the swamp here. The little buggages with the human faces. They're pattering funny little feet. Um, oh, I hear him stomping around. Oh, okay. Oh, you're saying words to me, huh? How about, how about you don't do that? <laughs> How's that sound? <laughs> Did I already get the item inside this room? No, I didn't. Church Guardian Shiv. Oh, that's the item that the Spear of the Church boss uses. Okay, I just want to get out of range of these guys so that they stop doing this. Because if I'm getting attacked by that while I'm trying to fight the, um... Dragon Slayer armor, it's going to be kind of a bad time. How much range do they have? I think that was the last one we're going to have to worry about. Oh, bad idea! Run away! Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Well, that's kind of annoying to run back over to. But, uh, you know what? It gives me something to do, I guess. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get Gale so fast. It, it took me 25 minutes. That was like my third or fourth attempt, too. I really thought it was going to be harder than that. Um, yeah, having to run out of the way of the adjudicator is a, a little annoying. Maybe I can stay to the right of this and not aggro so many of the little turtle fucks. I'm definitely gonna aggro some of them. Oh, I got the adjudicator upset too. That's good. That's really good. I hope all his archers just miss me from this far. Well, it certainly doesn't seem like they're hitting. Still summoning guys. Alright, let's give this another shot, shall we? Okay. This guy's got combos. I always forget. 
feel like I just like first tried this actual fight this playthrough or it might have been the second try or something but I died to Dancer for like a whole stream and then just like super easily got through this guy it would be funny to like kill the actual boss version of it quickly and then keep dying to the just enemy one that's just chilling in the swamp. Okay, I ran out of room to run. Alright. My buff's worn off. Let's reapply. I'm not gonna have room. Okay, that was lucky. That is not what I thought you were doing. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking sucking right now. <laughs> oh, that is such a big move, I would not think that there is a follow-up after that. Okay. I thought you always did the jump attack after charging it up like that. Don't roll catch me, you're a boss. What is this, PvP? I'm like barely hitting him. Oh, that's so delayed. Okay, yep, that's the one I didn't think there was a follow-up for. I can do this this time. I just can't get hit again. I got this. It's you and me, armor. I thought he was doing the shield bash. You know what? I will ember. Bad idea! Fine, we'll just heal through it. I got like one more hit on you and you're cooked. Okay, well not on the shield. There we go. See, that's not that hard. I just suck. Oh nice, and we actually get that armor too. That is pretty cool armor, I must say. I don't know why I thought there was like a slab that you get from doing that. Uh, that's another 64k. That's definitely worth leveling one more time. Is there, is there really no slab over here? I thought there was. Nice sort of view of the unreachable bits of the city. Um... I guess I should stop wasting time and just go fight mid here, huh? Uh. That is a fun boss, though, the Dragon Slayer armor. A, a lot of people will be like, oh, it's fan service, it's just Ornstein again for the, like, millionth time, but. I like Ornstein. <laughs> and it's also, it, it's a fun, like, uh, switch up. So, what do I need? Like, 60. 8,000 now. Uh, I think that will probably be a 5k. Sure. That's good enough. Ashen for the link. Very well then taken. Another faith will give us one more damage. I guess that's Ashen. worth it. Okay, and you know what? I'm going to take a real quick break to use the bathroom. And then we'll come back and we will um, we'll fight uh, Dark Eater Midyear.
and we're back. Um, yeah, I guess there's not much else to do other than just, um, Midir, and I, th I want to say it's Ringed City Inner Wall, which is the closest. Um, because we got that, uh, door that opens from the other side. Um... Yeah, I wonder what NPC I just, like, randomly hit, and, uh, at the Purging Monument, it said I could request, like, Absolution or something, and I want to say that's when you hit an NPC. That's the way to, like, get them unpissed off at you. But I don't remember ever having hit any NPCs, so... Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. It was, it was also one at 100,000 souls, which is a steep fucking price, I gotta say. Um, you know, the last time I saw Patches, I think it was, um, out this way. Is he still here? He said he, he was seeking the Purging Monument. I think you can summon him to help with Gale as well, but I obviously didn't do that, so let's just head this way. I'm going to want to be sending this um, elevator back up. Considering uh, this is a hard fucking boss. Um, where's the path? Is it this way? No. Um, this is not the way. Wait a second. Maybe it is? I'm, I'm a bit confused. Oh, you have to go halfway on the, the elevator, don't you? That sounds right. Yeah, weird little thing they make you do. To access the boss, but I believe Midir is down this ladder. Um, if he's not, then I... <laughs> I guess I really don't know what I'm doing. Violet wrappings. I think that's just the stuff that the, um, painting guardian used. I mean, it looks kind of cool, I gotta admit. Do I want to use the purple gloves? Oh no, my stupid little chicken arms are sticking out. Let's keep the dark gauntlets on. I feel like that's more appropriate. And then yeah, down the hall we go. Oh, that is a janky looking thing. Alright, mid-ear time. The key is just to remember, um... He takes more damage to the face. And every move you can dodge to be in line with his face. Uh, yeah, he still does not take a lot, does he? It could be that um, he is the dark boss and I'm using a dark weapon. I mean, it seems all right. Oh god. I can't see shit. <laughs> okay, well that went... That went poorly. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's all right. At least I know the path to the boss now. Oh, I bonked my mic again. Yeah, with any luck, I can get the setup going again and, and actually stream from a real <laughs> streaming setup. Um, so I think the way to do this is send the elevator back up and then um, go off. Now, yeah. They really hid this boss room, too. Like, behind an illusory wall, off halfway down an elevator. Like, my god. They were they were just 
determined to troll players. And you, you have to, like, um, defeat Midir at the other location that he's at, like, on that bridge. Um, if you want to, um, like, have him show up here at all. Okay, good start. remember how to dodge that one properly. Apparently I don't remember how to dodge any of it properly. Get him in the face. You do your tail swipe. No. Okay. <laughs> we might be here for a little bit. Um... I'm curious now if I if I look up um Meteor on the wiki yeah of course he's resistant to dark that makes sense He's weak to thrusting damage So I I guess I could try to use the spear um like one-handed and that could be good but um I'm kind of determined to use this. I mean, is the split damage that bad? I mean, I, I still do a pretty good amount of physical. I feel like it would be cool to kill the dark boss with the dark weapon anyway. So I'll, I'll keep trying this. Um, I think this is the way. Yes. <laughs> I am, by the time I'm done with this, I will get very good at uh, navigating to the boss room. I, I like to imagine some of these places being built in real life. Like, why the fuck would there be just this, like, chapel room underground, the only access being a long-ass ladder? Like, who would do that? Also, these weird, like, framped statues. Very strange. It's like framped, but also like a cat lizard thing. Is that what the primordial serpents look like? Uh, I kind of hope not. This is a cool ass boss room. Bonk him in the face. Oh, I missed. Oh, run away. And then back in. I guess that was a wind-up. Oh, I was not expecting him to do that move at the edge of the arena. That was a little weird. Um... Well... <laughs> I think I'm going to be spending more time running back and forth to... Um to the boss arena than fighting the boss. Um, if I keep dying this fast, at least. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll try the Wolnir sword. Um, but I, I want to keep just 
learning some moveset stuff here. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep using the dark weapon for now. I imagine this is probably like super good against like all other bosses. Um, just like specifically weak against this guy. I feel like if you're doing yellow chunks of damage against Midir, then it's it's not too bad. Oh, what is going on with the sparks there? So it seems like he always does the same move this right at the start. So when he does, like, aim himself back a little bit, that does seem to be, um, a wind-up for that dash move. I bet you the key is just go underneath the body for that one. Shit. Doing pretty good damage here. Okay, yeah, well, maybe not <laughs> underneath for that one. I don't know. It's a funny delay there. Classic dragon shit. I'm glad I just happened to be running the correct direction there. No. I, I bet it is just run out. That's the way there. I did an extra roll, that's fine. Okay, let me just chase now. Okay, I probably want to roll back for that one. Oh, run left. Ooh, nice. Are you gonna laser? I feel like you'd like to laser after that. Shit. Okay. Well, that was a very much better attempt already. I feel like I'm, I'm getting the moves down. for background noise. Somebody is using a power tool. Um, there's kind of nothing I can do about that. Um, hopefully it doesn't get picked up by the mic too much, but if I can hear it in my ears, you can probably hear it as well. Um, Honestly, like, this doesn't seem that bad. 
with the dark weapon. So I think I'll just keep using this. It, it probably would have been way better against um, Gale <laughs> than uh, the holy sword I was using, but I almost wish I could just refight Gale. It was so much fun. I, it almost looks like those sparks are just scripted to always land in the same place. So I think he starts off with the fire and dash attack every time. So then we want to just chase after him. He's going to come around to the left. I managed to chase it really effectively the one time. Oh, okay, I didn't think I would get hit by that there. Okay. Decent dodge. Oh, I knew what he was doing that time. I just was late on the... Um, I was late on the roll. Okay. Nice. Oh, should not have healed. Yeah, that was dumb. You need to do your fire and charge move again. Just the fire, that's fine. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, that's just death. Okay, definitely not as good as the last attempt. Um, was there an item in this boss room as well? That's weird. <laughs> there's just, there's so much background noise. Genuine apologies to the one person I've got listening. Um, that such is life. Um, one day I may have like a, a real nice like isolated stream setup. But that won't be for a while. Fuck yeah, vacuuming. <laughs> uh, I just, I wish it wasn't so quiet on the run back because when there's the music going, it's um a lot less noticeable. I gotta say. Um. Well, I mean, it's, it's not like I'm getting tons of views on the VODs anyway. I think I got two on yesterday's VOD, which is exceptional. Two rolls, and then chase. Get some stamina back, keep chasing. Oh, that was one too many bonks. Okay, that move still confuses me every time. Okay, run back in. Oh. Shit. Yeah. I think I should have tried to run out there. Second swing has just got a little delay just to fuck with you. Okay. The dash? No. Weird, like, bite move. Okay. Fucking hell. Listen, Midir. Work with me, man. Jesus, I'm just getting owned this time. It's fine, it's we're learning. Okay, chase. Oh, where's he gone? Run left. Okay. That works. Bonk him! Oh, 
Run out. Run back in. Out again. Yeah, that's definitely just the way for that move. Specifically punishes you if you try to run under him. Okay, that does not have a hitbox up close. That's good to know. I feel like you want to roll back for that one. Oh, shit. That's okay. This is a long-ass move, so we have some time to recover here. Again, I think you want to roll back from that. I'm learning. Oh. I recognized he was doing a fire, I just didn't get a chance to get in in time. Oh, that's a grab. Huh. Oh, that's just super death. Okay, good to know. Don't get grabbed. Good to know. Oh, I feel like every time I crack my neck with this headset on, it's just like super loud in the mic too. I'm thinking next stream, I mean, if I can do <laughs> mid-air here. Before I run out of time, um, next stream is, is going to be some Elden Ring. I, I might do some base game stuff off stream so that we can kind of just um, get right into Shadow of the Erd Tree. Uh, I don't know, though. It, it might be fun to do some base game as well. I did stream the first, like, half of the base game uh, on the PC, of course, so I don't have access to that build at all. It was a bit sad. Um... But, uh, you know, I haven't been trying to, uh, buff my weapon with the Dark Blade here. Which really kind of only has the benefit of, um, making my weapon purple. I don't think it, I really do, like, a noticeable amount more damage to uh, mid-ear here. Right, do your dash back and then the fire. Okay. It's a bit dumb that I got hit by that, but... We're fine. I don't know if I'm gonna have a time for a bonk here. Good. Okay, yeah, you wanted to roll backwards on that one. Drink! Okay, what you doing? Okay, thank you for presenting me with your head. Not a large opening there at all. Don't know how that fire missed me, but I'll take it. Nice. Don't grab me. Run out when he does that. Yeah, I definitely want to roll back for that one as well. Oh shit, I just ran into the fire. That was dumb. Okay. Far enough away, I can chase here. He keeps, like, unlocking me from his head. Oh god. That was a bit close, huh? Okay, thank you for just missing with that dash very kind. Again, why does he do that at the edge of the arena? It's weird. It feels glitchy every time. He hasn't lasered in a while.
Go for the charge heavy. Oh, I'm. He just like moved. That combo is an awkward length. I always think there's gonna be like another one. Run away. Okay. another heal here. I definitely don't think this is the run. Oh shit. That's the close fire. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Alright, mid -ear. Big stinker. Um, yeah, maybe I should try the Holy Sword. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing that much more damage with it that it's like worth it. We'll, we'll keep trying with this. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm not even, like, getting close. Uh, like, I would hope to, um... Get, like, a stagger off or something. I bet you I could just level up the big bonk hammer weapon that's, like, strength, um... Faith, actually, and that might be really good here. What... what was that, actually? Um... Morn's Great Hammer? You do need 50 strength to wield it, but I'm pretty sure 40 with a, um, it is pure physical. Hmm. You know what? I might try that. Did I use up all my twinkling, though? Oh, I've only got 16. I think it only takes 15, though. So this, this will be the, um, the final concession. I guess. The the last thing I can level up with the um, twinkling. Uh, unless I want to like farm for more. But this is the last boss, so I just want something that I can um, let's say unaffected. Wait a second. What? Oh, it, it looked like the same. Oh, I keep trying to do the Elden Ring input. Um... Let's see, is it Twinkling type Knight that I need? Oh, I've got no souls. It is Twinkling, but I'm pretty sure it's only 15. It might actually not be enough. Let's use that other slab. Okay, yeah, perfect amount of souls. Um, So, what's my damage look like now? 624... Um, with the other weapon that I had, it was two-handed, 568, I mean, it, that is more, and it's not dark damage, which this guy's weak to. I mean, m maybe this will be better, who knows, and I bet you it does more stance damage, because it's the big hammer. So that's kind of cool. Um... Yeah, let's give this a try. I don't know. Um, I had the resources to do it, so it's worth a shot. Um, it might, might cost a lot of stamina to swing this weapon, though. Oh, I didn't check if I'm fat rolling. I, I feel like I've got the allowance um, for, for such a big weapon. I might have to take off some of the dark armor, though. Ooh. Okay. How about black witch pants? Still? Ooh. She's 
shit. How about no pants? If I take off pants completely, we can wield it. Alright. Um, oh, I've already got Havels and the Prisoner's Chain as well. Maybe this will allow me to wear pants? Um, I think I need to stay below 70 here. Okay, well, maybe I will regret... I, I bet the Steel Protection Ring is actually better than having pants on. Um, this, you know what? I I've played these games enough. I should be able to figure this out. Um, so my physical resistance is 128, absorption is 11. If I take off the pants, I put on the steel ring. My defense is less, but my absorption is higher. Uh, help. Explanation. Uh, defense is calculated by character attributes and absorption is combined value of all equipped armor and additional effects. Okay, well, it doesn't tell me what they do. Well, shit. Okay. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try pantsless with the absorption ring. Maybe this will be the way. <laughs> I had to take off my pants to fight Medir. Classic. Um, if I just take, like, an obscene amount of damage, though, I might, um, switch it up and, um, go back to the other weapon I was using, but we'll, we'll see how, how the bonk goes against this guy. I guess I could just respec, uh, for more, um, like, vitality or whatever it is. The stat. Oh, that does way more damage, yeah. It does like twice as much. I guess it makes sense that he's weak to dark. Yeah, this is this is the way. Just don't get hit. <laughs> Easy. Just don't get hit. Forehead. Okay, that's just a three hit combo. Okay. You can run to the side of that. That's good to know. What do you mean I missed? doing his fun little sh ape shit combo. Ugh. <laughs> oh, that's the grab. Oh, am I just dead? No. Somehow. Okay. I'll take it. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. That's the laser. Shit. Oh, I have sliver of health. Oh, God. Okay, we're fine. Oh, I thought I got grabbed. Run. <laughs> We're just hanging on by a fucking thread this attempt, huh? Bonk him! Huh. Okay. Let's chase. Try to get a little bit of stamina back in the meantime. Nice. Run left. Oh, that missed me by a hair. 
Oh, come on. Yeah, the stamina consumption is much different here. Alright. <laughs> he, he keeps just barely moving his head out of the way. Okay. Well, I don't think I take that much more damage with this setup. Um... And I do, like, twice as much. So, I think I was doing, like, 200-something, and now I'm doing, like, 600-something. So, that's definitely better. Um, yeah, I, I just gotta focus in. And, um, I, I did manage to get in close the time that he did the laser uh, on a previous attempt. So, I don't know what the, um, what the move is for that. <laughs> oh, I, I just went the wrong way. Where... Where's the door? There's the door. <laughs> um... I guess I, I could try the, uh... The poking attack on the, the spear as well. With the shield. Um... Yeah, so when you have the, uh... Sword spear... One-handed... It consistently does poking attacks, and I could put the Leo ring back on. And that could be high damage, because it said he was uh, weak to piercing. I really shouldn't be doing the, um, the plunging attack. I just like the cool guy landing. It does use up half my stamina. Nice. If we get close enough, we only have to do one roll. Two rolls, I guess. I can't count. Nice. Oh, that was a terrible time to try to heal. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. The dash? No. Oh shit. Seems running to the right every time he does the like straight ahead fire is just the way to go. Oh, the ending lag of <laughs> of my dash attack is really long. I should not go for that, I think. Um, it's getting me punished a lot. I, I'm just not used to this weapon, I think. It is it's the cope that I'll go for there. <laughs> um Seek guidance. Displays more help. Yeah, I... There's a whole, like, Illusory Wall video about, um... If you don't know, Illusory Wall is a cool YouTube channel where uh, he talks about, like, kind of breaking down mechanics and... Uh, not just mechanics, but also, like, uh, like, the physical world and how stuff is put together in the Souls games. Um, really cool stuff. Really well-made videos as well. Um, but yeah, he talks about, um, like, seek guidance. Um, and how it's kind of fucking pointless <laughs> in most of these games. Um, like, it, it makes more dev messages spawn, uh, and it also makes other player, more, like, player messages spawn. But the dev messages are usually not useful at all. And the, like, you just get enough player messages anyway. I mean, most player messages are just fucking trolls anyway. Yeah, so one roll for the fire, one roll for the first sweep. And then we just run. And that leaves us in a real nice spot to bonk him. That's like big six move combo. Okay, grab. Oh shit. We're fine. <laughs> I'm having trouble internalizing what like kind of openings I get here for these attacks.
That's the real big one. Fuck. Oh no. Fine. We're not fine. <laughs> yeah, I just I got like super comboed there. I was doing a little better with the other weapon, like I was getting further in the fight, and I think it just came down to like the end lag on the swings. Um it was much shorter. So I just gotta be more careful about when I swing, but I, I do a lot more damage when I get openings, so I don't know. This is definitely not anywhere near as tilting as, like, Lothric and Lorien or Sister Freed. Um, like, I feel like I know what I do wrong every time I die here. Which I guess is also the case with, like, Lorien and Lothric, but it just... I don't know, it doesn't feel good. Having him go for the, like, super fast... There was this one overhead slash that was, like, incredibly quick. That was very hard to predict. Um, and so if you were just in any animation, it was just like, well, you're getting hit. <laughs> um, and then... Just, like, the teleporting around makes me fucking dizzy <laughs> as well. <laughs> I guess locked, being locked onto a dragon isn't a whole lot different, but... Um, I don't know. To me, it feels better. Okay. We bonk once. Oh, I thought that was the two hit. He always does follow that up with the fire, though, I guess. Okay. We bonk once. We recover stamina. Okay. That's the three hit. Sure. Okay. Running to the side is good there. Okay. Dash away. Oh, this is almost certainly the laser. No, that was just fire, I guess. Run away. Back in. Oh. Okay. Oh, it shouldn't have bonked. Fine, though. Oh, shit. I tried to bonk again, and I, like, buffered it, but I was out of stamina, so it, like, happened way later than I thought it would. I'm just rolling now. Rolling, 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 rolling. What a shit song, by the way. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Uh, it's like some some trashy metal band. Uh, I might, I guess a, a story I could tell is my, my dad would always like drag me along with him to to kind of like shit metal shows when I was like I don't know like twelve through fifteen, and when I hit around fifteen, I, I kind of just like stopped letting him drag me there. Um, but I, I guess I was sort of into metal music at the time. I, I was like, yeah, Metallica! But, of course, it was never a Metallica show that we'd go to. It was always, like, some something he liked that was, like, obscenely edgy. Like, I don't know, like, hate breed. Um, <laughs> or some shit like that, I don't know. I, if, if you're a hate breed fan, uh, sound off in the comments, I guess. Um, or, or like, what was... What, what did we see a bunch of times? I can't even remember the names of some of these bands. That like this is, some of them that that he would listen to just had like fucking like ludicrously goofy names, like Infant Corpse or I don't know. Um. Uh, yeah, but um, the, uh, before the shows, they would always play like whatever like radio popular like metal music, um, like over the loudspeaker. And it would just be fucking dog shit. Um, you know how they always kind of play just like radio drivel before uh, the concert starts?
I noticed it was like particularly bad at metal shows. So that's the three hitter. He always gets his head off to the side when he does that. Two hits and a fire, okay. And run to the side for this one. I am out of stamina here, let's regen some. I think this is the big five hit combo. Oh, four. That was the four. Okay. I missed. This could either be the big fire move or the laser. I think this is just fire. Okay. I didn't think that had a hitbox that was so close. Well, <laughs> sure. <laughs> One mistake. Um, I guess that's that. Maybe I really should try to have pants on here. I don't know. I definitely have enough uh, levels that I could respec and try to get some more um, vitality so I can put some more gear on. I have already got Havel's Ring and the Prisoner's Chain. Um, which gives me just like a lot of extra equip load. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what other... Um, what show did they play, like, the worst music at before? Um, well, we used to go to this festival called, like, Mayhem. And, um, oh, that was dumb. Well, I don't know how to quit out, apparently. <laughs> I, I did the Elden Ring quit out input. That's why it, like, paged across weird. So it's, like, start, left, A left A in Dark Souls 3. Right, start, left, A... Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what setting did I just change? Toggle auto lock on? So it's it's start, left, A, L1, A, left, A. That's like a lot of inputs. <laughs> Usually you have a decent amount of time to actually do it. Yeah, some goofy shit happened at Mayfa Mayhem. Um, people were always just doing, like, really dumb stuff. Um, because, I mean, it's a metal festival. Um, we did see Rob Zombie there, and th that is still, to this day, w one of the metal bands that I actually like. Um, just the, the bassist and the guitarist are both really good. But, I don't know, I'm, I'm much more into weird, eclectic, like, jazz and... Just weird indie shit. I don't know. I I've been really liking this band called Unknown Mortal Orchestra for like the last year or so. It's just kind of been what I want to listen to when it I want to put music on. So you dash back, and then you do that. I roll twice, and I chase. Then I bonk you once. And I oh, I was going to say and I bonk you twice, but no. That is a bonk once scenario. I think if you quickly bonk twice, it's possible. Run left? No. Okay, now he's gonna do the fire. Oh, it's the close fire with the laser. Okay, I managed to get in close enough to not get hit by it. That's cool. Close fire? Sure. So sometimes the laser comes out of the close fire. This is good to know. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, I just didn't have the stamina to run right there. Yeah, the stamina management with this, um... Is this a laser again? Well, okay. He, like, very rarely does that, but he's done it twice this time. I'm a bit further away than I'd like to be after that move. I don't think I'm going to get a follow-up in. Well, maybe. Okay, four hits. Oh, shit. I thought I was just going to outrange that. I don't know why. He was right over top of me. I've been attempting this boss for a while now. I'm at, I'm at two hours streaming. Um, yeah, 
yeah, I will say that um, the band that I saw that played the best music um, pre, uh, like before the opener came on or anything was definitely Sungazer, which is like super weird, like um, electronic jazz. Um, also, honorable mention to Anomaly, which is like a French jazz. That I, th I think he calls it jazz tronica, <laughs> like keyboard player, just like super good feel. Um, the opener that played with them was awesome as well. Um, yeah, I I saw them at this really cool club that just had an incredible sound system. Um, I, I won't say what it's called because I, I don't want to <laughs> dox myself. Um, but yeah, if, if you get a chance to see Sungazer. They put on a good-ass show. A bit goofy, but good stuff, nonetheless. I, w I didn't get in close enough that time. I don't think I'm close enough to do an attack. Oh. Sure. the grab, we dodge backwards, and we bonk the head twice. We miss, that's fine. Okay. This arena is fucking huge. I'm spending a lot of time just like running away. Okay. Haven't seen him do that attack in a couple of attempts. What is this? Oh god. I don't know why I thought that was the laser. I'm kinda sucking ass right now. <laughs> I'm really not doing that well. I feel like this guy's not that hard. One bonk. Oh, I didn't even get the head hitbox. Fuck, that was not where I thought you were going to land. Like, I'm getting decent at dodging some of these attacks. My problem is just identifying them. They all fucking look the same. Oh, right, 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 right. Always the fire after the two move. It's okay. Way too far away. This is the big combo? No, that's the four move. Okay. Sure. Is this the big combo? Yes. Alright. How dare you do a the, like, six move combo and then have no window to hit you? What the fuck is up with that, man? I keep cutting that way too close. Okay. Weird grab moment. I was a li little bit close to him. Are you doing the laser? You are not. Yeah, he has just... Okay, after the big combo, don't even try to hit him. That's the lesson I've learned here. Ugh. Just one. Four move. Okay, fire? Yeah. Oh, right, it's always fire after that. I keep fucking that up. It's fine. Let's read in some stamina here. Oh, phase two! Look at that! 
I think this is our first first time seeing phase two, huh? Oh, why did I go for three hits? Oh, what the fuck is this? Run to the side. Okay. Bonk him. Wouldn't be a bad time to use an ember. Oh, okay, he turned around much faster this time. Oh, and you're gonna do the ape shit twice in a row? Sure. Oh, what do you mean that missed? Oh, I bet this is the laser. No? Not the laser? Oh, fuck yeah. Ember. One more. Oh, that's mid-ear. Okay, uh, the ember was pointless. <laughs> First time I got him into phase two. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is Dark Souls 3. Just barely over two hours here. Basically exactly the duration I like to stream. Um, you get 150k for that. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah, I beat Dark Souls 3 with a faith build, I guess. It was kind of split, and I still used melee weapons the whole time. I, I guess the only thing there is to do... Let's... Um... Which one? Eyes of a Firekeeper or the Fire... Much like what lies it's a Fox... FKS. Let it find its own place. She will understand. Sure. Oh. Okay, well that's not... Not really an ending thing. Let's give her the eyes as well. Are these... She's like, why are you giving me eyes? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I don't want fire. You know what? I always like the dark endings. That, that would be... Very fitting. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put the last two points into faith here for 44. Um, and I guess, um, how do we get to, this is the dreg heap. Where the fuck do I get to, yeah, kiln of the first flame. That's where we want to go. So we'll, we'll do the ending now, and we can end it on the credits. Um, I enjoyed playing Dark Souls 3 on stream. I might play Dark Souls 1 after we do Shadow of the Erd Tree stuff, but I'm going to be chewing on Shadow of the Erd Tree for a hot minute after this, I can tell. Um, yeah, it's going to be nice to be playing Elden Ring again. Um, I do really like this game, but like having to stop to regen stamina when there's no combat happening, that's a little silly. Yeah, so I think if we summon the Firekeeper, this is how we get the, the like, not linking the flame ending. So let's do that. Holy Toadman. F truly embracing the dark. Oh, that's fucking... Oh. The cart guy is here. <laughs> I'll shut the window, so... His horn will not interrupt the cutscene as much. <laughs> the hat just covers up like 50% of all cutscenes um, it's truly perfect um, you know what I guess I, I do kind of want to um, start my next character uh, on stream for, for Elden Ring because then God, I, I do love Dark Souls 3. People complain, they're like, oh, it's oh, it's not nearly as 
Uh, there's not as many paths, and it doesn't connect as much. Oh, it's a straight line. But one day, the bosses are incredible. Tiny flames will dance across the darkness. And it does look really good for a game that came out in 2016. I don't, 2016 wasn't that long ago, but... Like, they, they nailed the art style with this game. I, I would say the same for Bloodborne, too. Same engine. Just absolutely nailed it. I, I love that uh, sun in the sky. With the ring around it, too, that we get to see just a little bit at the end. And I think this is credits. Ashen one. Here's oh, <laughs> not quite yet. Still? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> there we go. It really was the Dark Souls 3. <laughs> so, I've, what? which of these games have I done on stream now? I've done half of Elden Ring. Uh, Dark Souls 3... Obviously, I'm just finishing that. I did... Uh, I thought I thought that said Junji Ito, but it's Jun Ito. I was going to say, holy fuck, Junji Ito worked on this? Um, I've done half of Elden Ring, Dark Souls 3. I did Sekiro with the Charmless, and I, I did some of the um, the gauntlets as well, but the, <clears throat> the final gauntlet is fucked. Like, I will have to practice for a long time for that, and I'm not sure uh, my fucking heart is ready for the pain that will happen if dying to inner Ishin after an hour of boss fights plus an hour plus of boss fights like it's like fucking 14 bosses or something 17 bosses i feel like that's the right number yeah uh we did lies of p that was good fun um i again i have that on the computer not the playstation so i, I would like to do another playthrough where i actually fight the final boss this time instead of being a dumbass and picking the yes, kill me option at the end. Um, I've done Bloodborne, right? Can't forget Bloodborne. So I'm uh, missing... I haven't done Demon Souls. I haven't done Dark Souls 1 or 2. Uh, Dark Souls 2? Not my favorite, gotta say. Is it a cool-looking game? Yes. Um, uh, is that most of the positives that I have to say about it? Also, yes. Um... <laughs> I, I really like some of the boss designs visually. I really don't like some of the boss designs hitbox-wise. <laughs> I really don't like the way that stamina works in that game. I really don't like the... Uh, just the, the way the movement feels, too. I, you, just level 80p, bro. Yeah, I know. I do level 80p, and it still sucks ass. Um, also, the, the bosses have, like, two moves, a lot of them. Like, the... Velstat is cool. Velstat is very cool. Uh, the Demon of Song, also really cool looking boss that seemingly has two moves. Um, I, I, I saw it in some like shit ass YouTube video. Somebody called it the Semen of Dong, which that's just that's funny. I, <laughs> real recognize real. That's a good joke. Um, yeah, well, the Looking Glass Knight is cool. Um, but it also has some of the just shittiest dragon fights. The, like, ancient dragon. That boss fight sucks ass. It's basically just run away from fire. And then, like, bait out the stomp over and over. Um, like, Midir is... I think Midir is just the best dragon fight in all of these games, to be honest. Like, I... I really liked... Um... Some of the dragons in Elden Ring, some of them just are fucking annoying. The ancient dragons are really annoying. Uh, there's one in uh, Shadow of the Erd Tree that's like the last dragon before you fight Bale. It's called like Senesax or something. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Don't like him. Uh, Fortisax, visually really cool. Um, I probably shouldn't say this on stream, but... I don't really care. I I was playing through Elden Ring uh, <laughs> using some uh, mushrooms, and got the sky in Fortis Axe's arena. Just I just wanted to stare at it and not fight the boss because it was just so cool looking. But um, yeah, most of the dragons in that game are kind of just very samey. Um, 
Uh, and yeah, I don't really like Placidus Axe that much. Like, after fighting it the first time, yeah, it's cool. But I think Midir was just perfect. Like, they could have just... No, oh, wait a second. Hang on. The Yuria of Londor was played by somebody called Pookie Quesnel? <laughs> Hang on a second. That's incredible. I noticed that right before it, uh, like, scrolled off screen. Um, but fucking awesome. I'm, I'm glad I noticed that. I'm, like, barely even looking at the credits now. Yeah, Placidus Axe is cool. Uh, like, the, like, visually, it's got one of, the, probably my favorite boss arena in any of these games. Uh, and, and, like, the fight itself is very visually cool, but, um, it is kind of just, like, smacking its tail for ten minutes. Um, and I, I do prefer the archetype that Midir kind of is, where it's like dodge all the moves and bonk him in the face. Um, that's much more fun to me. I, like, you can go for like stance breaks, I guess, and, and constantly be doing that, but I think I think it gets more and more poise, or, or whatever it's called, the, the stance mechanic is called in Elden Ring. Uh, the like difficulty to break stance. It seems to get more and more each time. Eh. Placidus X is, is very cool, but I just... The actual fight itself is, is kind of, like, middling compared to mid -ear. Anyway, Dark Souls 3. I don't know if I have a whole lot more to say. I, I wanted to talk through the credits and give my thoughts. I, I did really like using the holy build, but I, I kind of very minimally used miracles, I gotta say. I had wanted to use them more, but they, they just didn't seem that good for the most part. Um... I don't know. Uh, they're they're incredible in Elden Ring. I gotta say, holy shit, the miracles are, are they're called incantations. I'm sorry, right? Because they they changed the name of the rings to talismans, which made forced them to change uh, the name of the the thing that you cast miracles to from talisman to what the fuck did they call it in Elden Ring? A seal, I think. Yeah, and just like all of the the, like, words for things are switched around a little bit. I gotta say, I do kind of prefer, um, Bonfire to Sight of Grace. But uh, it looks like we're, we're getting towards the end of, uh, the credits here. Um, what a good fucking game, though. Uh, like, nearly ten years on now. Uh, eight years on. And, and this game's still just good as hell. Um, I guess it does help to kind of know <laughs> where to go and what to do. Uh, playing this on the first playthrough is probably fucking brutal. Like, specifically, like, it's very fun. No, fuck no, we're not starting Journey 2. Alright, that's the end of the stream. Dark Souls 3 is done. Uh, if you can manage...